Hi, this is Christina from thegodlyindianmom.com. Today's book review is on Aurangzeb, The Man and the Myth by Audrey Trushke. This book I would recommend for young adults and over. Um, this is a good book for uh, reading a little into the medieval history of India. Uh, although this is a small snapshot from it and also just about one single person and I wouldn't consider this as a full comprehensive reading but still it's a great book for beginners for having a, a balanced view about uh, history. Uh, I would consider this book as a supplement to uh, historian Abraham Irali's work, uh, which is, uh, I've done a video on the same uh, in the last video, which is the last spring part one. I would recommend that book to get a fuller view of history, because I think it's very important to understand a person in context, in the place that he's from, his background, what are his thoughts, and the situations and circumstances that made him take certain decisions. And I think that's very important. You just can't take people out and just look at them uh, in today's uh, uh, modern world just like that. And I, I don't believe in that because I think it plays a very important role to understand where they're coming from and what century and what place they lived in. And that helps us to understand them a little better. So I highly recommend that work. And you could use this as a supplement or as a beginner reading also, you could do this. Um, so this book uh, details a small section of uh, Aurangzeb's life. And as we know, Aurangzeb is, uh, was a very uh, brilliant uh, military tactician. And he, had, uh, he played an instrumental role in acquiring the lion's share of India for the Mughal Empire. And uh, because he was very good at uh, military tactics and uh, he had this uh, you know ambition to conquer Deccan and uh, so he accomplished it even though it was for a very short duration he did conquer the unconquerable Deccan and then later on we do see how it broke up and uh, there were conflicts and uh, wars going on but still this uh, helps you to understand a little bit uh, of his thought process and uh, also we understand like learning his life we realize like what went into the breaking up of the Mughal em Empire. So I think it's important to learn the life of Aurangzeb to understand what happens to large empires and I think that is why it's very interesting to learn about Aurangzeb too. And other than that as a person because this book is about Aurangzeb who he was and who he uh, uh, what, what what went into making him and uh, that can, that is definitely explained in this book. Uh, the few things that I've learned from Aur Aurangzeb is that he was a simple man and he was a very pious man and a man of small, a simple faith. And, uh, and that is something I, that I picked out from his life. So all in all, I think this is a wonderful uh, supplementary reading. For those who are interested, I know history has many uh, views and there are so many sides to history. Um, and just like I mentioned in my previous review also, uh, I, it's just my personal opinion not to judge people too quickly and give grace as much as possible. Learn the best things that you can from other people instead of just, you know, uh, getting ready to throw stones at them. But that is just uh, my uh, personal opinion. I still think this is a great book for somebody who is interested in looking at history unbiased. So this is it from me. Until next time, see you. Bye.